Hey, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today we're going to take a look at another of the new add-ons in FileMaker 19.1. So we'll make a database called Demo. It'll just be a plain vanilla database with just the one default table in it. And I want to look at this calendar one. So we'll make the go to layout mode and go to the add-ons tab. Click this button in the lower left that says plus. And then we see a list of the new add-ons. And I'm going to use the one called calendar and just click it and click choose over here in the corner. Then when I want to add it, I just drag the calendar out. It fits comfortably on the layout. So maybe I'll resize the layout a little bit. And we'll notice a couple things about this one that are interesting. So when I go to browse mode, it'll immediately start working. And so if I click on a day, let's say for example on the 7th, um, it'll immediately pop up an event. And this allows me to create an event, let's just say like um, lunch with Gina. And it'll automatically put a time. It puts 12, puts like midnight. So I'll put um, uh, 12 p.m. This is a regular FileMaker field. This is actually a FileMaker popover layout. So we get all the normal controls we're used to um, because this layout, this popover button, um, sorry, card window is not uh, JavaScript. It's just a standard FileMaker layout. 12 p.m. will actually work. And I'll end it on the same day, 10, 8 at 2 p.m long launch, Gina's a talker. And then I can choose a style, which is great. So I can say blue, and then I can give a long description, like maybe at um, Produce Row Cafe, which is a nice restaurant here in Portland. Then it automatically just puts it on the calendar. So one thing that we see is if I resize my layout, it's not changing the view. Um, and if I click on the widget and um, just click it, uh, it's actually one widget over here. Let me maybe collapse the left panel so we can get more space. Um, if I click it and I choose to anchor to the lower corners, this is a grouped object, so it actually won't do that. So what I can do is I can use another trick. I can click it and then click again, which selects the web viewer, and I can anchor that to the corners. And now if I resize my layout, it'll resize the calendar, uh, which is really nice. So another thing that's interesting is if I just single click on an event, it doesn't open it. So it works kind of like a calendar where you would need to double click. So if I double click Lunch with Gina, it'll bring it up and then I can edit the event, change the color, um, kind of do whatever I want. Uh, one of the things that's great about this is because this is a JavaScript widget, I can move something around. If she calls and says, yeah, Wednesday's not going to work, how about Tuesday? I can just click and drag and move the event. So to configure this, um, what happens is when you add this add-on to your solution, it automatically adds these two tables, the add-on and the sample events data. And you can just modify them as you will. So if I do something like change this uh, layout to events and change it, um, that for certain things it'll actually work and for other ones that it won't because it's uh, the configuration of the calendar relies on specific field names. And right here we actually see that it is broken. So I have to choose um, my uh, my configuration changes. If I went and renamed that, so will it even let me save this? If I probably change layouts and came back, I'll see that the calendar uh, actually still does work. It shouldn't work. If I close the file and reopen it, because of the configuration change that I made, it's going to break. So um, certain changes you have to be very wary about, like um, changing things. But it's pretty simple to fix. You just kind of go in and choose what your primary field is going to be, which is going to be the event ID. The title field is the title. The start field is the start date. The start time. The end date. The end time. And then save. And then now I should be able to go and, and make uh, additional edits. So um, yeah, certain things, again, be careful with. Then there's also optional fields that you can get. So if you want a tooltip, you can have that. Um, you can have uh, a certain field if you have a checkbox for all day, for example. If the field is editable, a checkbox for that. Uh, a style, so if you have it like a blue or green, we saw that dark blue kind of a thing. Um, I guess I don't see a tooltip field. So tooltip might be the description, so if you hover over it, I can actually show a tooltip on the JavaScript, which is pretty nice. And then I have some other settings also for, um, for filtering. If you want to do a query, if you want to do a search, 
and some other settings that you have, uh, like the default style. So maybe default is blue. And start the week on Monday. And the default view is either week view, uh, month view, or day view. So we actually have only looked at month view so far, so let's take a look at a couple of other views. So here's the default month view that we looked at. So if I look at week view, I can see the same kind of a thing. And just as before, you can drag an event around. You know, I thought I said 12 to 2, but let's modify that by just dragging the time. Um, on day view, it shows me just the one day, and then I can um, use these widgets here to go day by day. And I can uh, also add another event by clicking and dragging. And that will bring up the um, same dialog that we're used to seeing. Uh, so we'll call this like status meeting. And then just choose a style, purple, close. And then if I go back to my other views, I'll see the meetings. So this is a really useful thing, something that I've wished for in FileMaker for a long time. And now that we have FileMaker Pro 19.1, with JavaScript supported add-ons, we have this feature and it's super easy to add a really flexible calendar that has quite a bit of features to your database. Thanks for your time.